back to Digital Software Hub. Today we're diving into the 10 most common mistakes in software development and how to avoid them. Whether you're just starting your coding journey or you've been a developer for years, these pitfalls can trip up even the most seasoned programmer. Avoiding these common mistakes can save you countless hours of frustration and project failures. So let's get right into it and equip you with the knowledge to write cleaner, more efficient and error-free code. One of the most common mistakes I see developers make is diving into coding without a solid plan. The excitement of bringing an idea to life is exhilarating, but just like a contractor wouldn't start building a house without a blueprint, you shouldn't start a project without a clear roadmap. Failing to plan is essentially planning to fail. Proper planning starts with thoroughly understanding the project requirements. What are you trying to build? What problem are you solving? Once you have a firm grasp of the what, you can move on to the how. Break down the project into smaller, manageable tasks. Creating a flowchart or a wireframe can be incredibly helpful in visualizing the project's structure and flow. Think of it like planning a road trip. You'd map out your route and identify potential pit stops. Similarly, in software development, having a detailed plan helps you anticipate challenges and allocate resources effectively. Remember, a little planning up front goes a long way in preventing headaches down the road. Let's face it, as developers, we can sometimes be a little too close to our code. We pour hours into it, nurturing it like our own creation, and it's easy to become blind to potential flaws. This is where code reviews come in as an invaluable tool in the development process. It's not about criticizing your skills, it's about catching errors, improving code quality, and ensuring consistency. A fresh pair of eyes can often spot things you might have missed, from simple typos to logical errors. Think of code reviews as a collaborative brainstorming session. Your peers can offer valuable insights, suggest alternative approaches, and help you write cleaner, more efficient code. Moreover, code reviews provide an excellent opportunity for knowledge sharing within a team. Junior developers can learn from the experience of senior developers, and even seasoned programmers can pick up new techniques and best practices. Embrace code reviews as an opportunity for growth and improvement. We've all been there, the pressure is on, deadlines are looming, and you just want to get the code out the door. It's tempting to skip testing or leave it until the very end, but trust me, this is a recipe for disaster. Testing should be an integral part of your development workflow, not an afterthought. By implementing continuous testing, you catch bugs early in the development cycle when they are much easier and cheaper to fix. Imagine building a house and only inspecting the foundation after the entire structure is complete. If there's a crack in the foundation, it could compromise the entire building, leading to costly and time-consuming repairs. The same principle applies to software development. Automated testing is your best friend here. By writing unit tests for individual components and integration tests for the system as a whole, you can ensure that your code behaves as expected. Make testing a regular habit and you'll save yourself countless hours of debugging and frustration in the long run. Chapter 4. The Perils of Hard Coding. Don't hard code your way to a headache. Picture this. You've just finished building a fantastic web application, but now you need to deploy it to a different environment. Suddenly, you realize you've hard coded specific values like URLs, API keys, and database credentials directly into your code. Hard coding might seem convenient in the short term, but it's a maintenance nightmare waiting to happen. Every time you need to make a change, you'll have to manually update these values in multiple places, increasing the risk of errors and inconsistencies. Instead of hard coding, embrace the power of environment variables and configuration files. These allow you to store sensitive information outside your code base, making it easy to switch between different environments without modifying the code itself. By using environment variables and configuration files, you make your code more flexible, secure, and easier to maintain. Plus, you'll save yourself a lot of headaches in the long run. Chapter 5. The importance of documentation. Don't leave your code undocumented. We've all been there staring at a piece of code we wrote months ago, trying to decipher what it does and why we made certain decisions. Documentation, often overlooked in the heat of coding, is crucial for both your sanity and the maintainability of your projects. Think of documentation as a love letter to your future self and other developers who might work with your code. 
clear, concise documentation explains how your code works, what each function does, and any assumptions or decisions made during development. Start by writing clear and concise comments within your code, explaining the purpose of each section or function. Tools like Javadoc or JSDoc can even help you generate documentation automatically from your code comments. Well-documented code is easier to understand, debug, and maintain. Chapter 6. Over-engineering. Keep it simple, Smarty. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of using the latest, shiniest tools and frameworks. We want to build the most elegant, scalable, and feature-rich solution possible. However, this often leads to over-engineering, creating overly complex systems that are difficult to understand, maintain, and debug. Remember, simplicity is key. Start by building a minimum viable product, a version of your product with just enough features to attract early adopter customers and validate your idea. Once you have a working MVP, you can gather feedback from users and iterate on your design, adding features gradually. Avoid the temptation to anticipate every possible future need. You'll likely end up building features you don't need, adding unnecessary complexity to your code base. Think of it like building a house. You wouldn't start by constructing a mansion if you only need a small, cozy cottage. Focus on building a solid foundation and adding rooms as your needs grow. Keep your solutions simple, elegant, and easy to understand. Chapter 7. Neglecting performance speed thrills in the digital world. In today's fast-paced digital landscape, users expect lightning-fast applications. Neglecting performance optimization can lead to sluggish applications that frustrate users and damage your reputation. Performance should be a top priority from the get-go, not an afterthought. Start by choosing the right tools and technologies for the job. Some languages and frameworks are inherently more performant than others. Pay attention to how you structure your data and optimize your database queries. A poorly designed database can bring your application to a crawl. Use caching mechanisms to store frequently accessed data in memory, reducing the load on your database and speeding up response times. Regularly profile your code to identify bottlenecks, areas where your application is spending the most time. A fast and responsive application leads to happier users and a better overall user experience. Chapter 8. The ever-evolving landscape. Don't get left behind. The world of software development is constantly evolving. New languages, frameworks, and tools emerge all the time, and what's considered best practice today might be outdated tomorrow. Failing to keep up with these changes can leave you behind using outdated technologies and struggling to remain competitive. Make continuous learning a non-negotiable part of your routine. Dedicate time each week to explore new technologies, read industry blogs and articles, and experiment with new tools and frameworks. Attending conferences, webinars, and online courses can provide valuable insights into the latest trends and best practices. The more you learn, the more valuable you become as a developer. Embrace the ever-changing nature of the industry, and you'll be well-equipped to tackle whatever challenges come your way. Chapter 9. Version Control – Your Safety Net for Code Disasters Imagine this. You're working on a new feature for your project, and you accidentally introduce a bug that breaks everything. You frantically try to undo your changes, but you can't remember all the modifications you made. This is a nightmare scenario that version control systems like Git are designed to prevent. Version control allows you to track changes to your code base over time, creating snapshots of your project at different stages. Think of it like having a time machine for your code. You can revert to previous versions, compare changes, and even collaborate with other developers on the same code base without fear of overwriting each other's work. Git and other version control systems might seem intimidating at first, but they are essential tools for any serious developer. Embrace version control, and you'll have a safety net for those inevitable coding mishaps. Chapter 10. The Power of Collaboration Teamwork makes the dream work. Software development doesn't have to be a solitary endeavor. In fact, some of the most successful projects are the result of effective collaboration and communication. Working in isolation can lead to misaligned goals, misunderstandings, and ultimately a less cohesive and successful product. Regularly communicate with your team members, stakeholders, and clients. Share your progress, discuss challenges, and be open to feedback. Tools like Slack, Microsoft Teams, and project management software can facilitate seamless communication and keep everyone on the same page. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. 
Two heads are always better than one and your colleagues might have valuable insights or solutions you haven't considered. Embrace collaboration, communicate effectively and watch your projects thrive. So those are the top 10 common mistakes in software development and how to avoid them. By understanding these pitfalls and implementing the solutions we've discussed, you'll be well on your way to writing cleaner, more efficient and error-free code. Remember, software development is a journey of continuous learning and improvement. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tips on software development. Also, drop a comment below. Have you made any of these mistakes? How did you overcome them? Let's chat down below.